Welcome back to Engine Cleaning and Life Hacks. Today we are going to be attacking this scratched up stainless steel sink and we're gonna make it look like brand new, at least relatively new, better than this situation right here. The first thing that you need to do before I show you how to do this technique here, which I absolutely love, is you need to test your stainless steel and make sure that it is uncoated. You can see that I did that right here. Everything I talk about here will be linked in the description box below. If it turns black, you are good to go with what I'm about to show you. And every kit has a test strip available, but this is very, very important. So I'm excited, let's do it. I have four pads here, starting with the least abrasive to the most abrasive. I'm hoping we can get the job done here today with just this gray one, but we will see. We're gonna go ahead and attach it. You do not wanna do what I just did right here. First thing that you need to do is turn these for the first one so that they face the opposite direction of the pad so that you can then slide it over and then it will hook into place and then you turn it back. You can see I've done right here. That will have to do. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the solution right here and we are going to create an S on the back of this pad and then we're going to go to town. We have got our S. Now the important thing is that you go in the direction of the grain. So you can see here it's left to right but I have all these scratches in the sink because there are scratches in the opposite direction of the grain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here um, in this really damaged part. We're gonna do about eight to 10 strokes back and forth. Now here's the fun part. I'm just gonna set this aside right here. I'm gonna grab the microfiber towel that came with the kit. I'm just gonna wipe it clean and we are going to check our work. Let us see here. We need to do one more round. Oh yes we do. You can see right in there. So we'll go back in again with our pad, direction of the grain. Go in here with the microfiber towel again to wipe clear and we'll see where we are at. Let's take a peek here. It is looking better, this area right in here, but I still see some scratches. So I'm gonna go in with the brown pad, which is a bit more coarse. It's the brown reconditioning pad. It's considered a moderate abrasive. You can see here I've done a small section. Let me get you in there real well. So right in here, I have not applied anything. And right in here, I have. So we can tell a drastic difference between the part that I did and the parts over here that I have not touched and over here that I have not touched. So this does work well compared to anything else that I've seen on the market. Now, if you get really close, let's see if the camera will pick it up here. Yes, you can still, hmm, camera might not pick it up. Okay, here we go. You can still see some smaller scratches in here, so you're probably still gonna have those. Now, there are a couple other pads that you can use on this. You can apply this one, which is a bit more abrasive, and then finally, this one, which is even more abrasive. They call this the finger pad right here, which you do not use any of the solution on, but that is looking really nice compared to where we started. There to here. Okay, I'm getting real happy right now. I went to town. Let me just show you. I have it on my phone here, uh, the before and the after picture. Okay, here we go. Here's the before. Can you see that? There's no editing on this. This is the before. That's the after. Nothing. That That is pretty pretty remarkable. Now, I will say, I could go a little bit deeper. Again, let me get down in here with my camera so that you can fully see. There are still uh, some visible scratch marks by the eye, but again, you can see I didn't touch anything up here. I did do it in here, and I did not touch anything up and over here. Ooh, I wanna mention something else. If you have water spots, uh, you can see in here, I have not touched this side of the sink. This is great for that too. Let me just show you what I mean. I just worked on this corner right over here compared to that one. Pretty amazing. I am just gonna finish up in over here. Now, if you're wondering how to keep this shine going with an all natural product that you already have in your home, click this video on screen now. We're gonna put it over here. Give the video a thumbs up and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.